this is your captain speaking, and today we're playing RimWorld again. Now, since the last video, there has been a new patch for the game, and, well, it changes up the map features a little bit, and I kind of want to try that out, so, fuck the last game, we're playing a new version. Alright, starting this shit again. Margarita, of course she's going to be in my colony, her name is an alcoholic beverage, and she's a commissar, whatever the fuck that means. I'm going to randomize this. Uh, Marine. Oh, there was an alcoholic. I skipped it. I want an alcoholic. No. Uh, and Puck, a surgeon. So I got Margarita the Commissar, Grim the Marine, and Puck, the surgeon. The three of you awaken your lungs. You already heard this fucking... Okay. Whoa! Whoa, there's music now. Oh, my God. That's so awesome. All right, uh, let's check around the- what? What is this? There's a house already there. I'm gonna turn down the music volume, so I'm not sure how loud it actually is, and I don't want it to sound super loud for you guys. I'm just full of beans today. Ah, oh, man, this is great. There are, like, little buildings already here. Ah, oh, man. This is so cool. Oh, perfect place. There's a geothermal vent and a shit- ton of resources. I don't hope you guys don't mind if I curse, because I curse a lot. I'm quarter Scottish, after all. Deconstruct, deconstruct, deconstruct. No beds for you! You do not deserve to sleep! Hmm. Alright. I'm gonna start them moving and shit. Uh. Oh, I actually have objectives now. Build a room. Get a room. What's this? Simple door? Seals rooms apart must be manually open and closed, which slows people down. Oh, they have like new doors and stuff now. Okay, so... Uh, <laughs> I am going to have my people... Well, I'm gonna rezone this shit, actually. Uh... No... Delete zones. Delete. Delete. You wanna make a stockpile zone over here? No, not, no, not there. Uh, stockpile zone over here. And I'm going to hope my people start stockpiling stuff. Oh, I have to, I have to tell them that it's cool to gather all this precious resources that it's, that's around. Colonists will not interact with items marked for, I know that. Thanks for telling me. Unforbidden. Silver is unforbidden. Who wouldn't want to grab money? And food is unforbidden. So they're all going to carry that stuff over there. That's fantastic. I'm going to tell them to start mining. Mining. There it is. Oh, they... Hunt? Hunt's an option? Dang! This is awesome. Kind of shitty that we lost the old one, but really everything dies eventually, so it's not a big deal. Okay. Aw, uh, Grim's building the door. Good job there, buddy. I'm gonna speed it up. Gotta, we only play fast-paced games here. Fast-paced super adventure games. I'm gonna build them actual beds this time, so they'll be nice and comfy. I'm gonna dig out this uh, geothermal vent here, so we can start getting power generation right away. There's food already in the house. When I moved into my apartment, there was no food in here. But there's food here. So what the hell? These guys crash land on a strange alien world and boom! Food! Right away! I crash land in North Dakota and still no food. I got a little basket with some shitty toilet paper and some shitty toothpaste. These guys get uh, 53 potatoes. I wish I had 53 potatoes all the time. They got their little beds now all built up. They're gonna settle down for the night. Ah! And this is, a, like, a really good strategic point, too. There's only one real point of entry here, and nobody's gonna come in through that little crack down there. A little crack down there. I'm gonna... Uh, I'm gonna work on my power generator first. Ah, uh, okay. I'm gonna start my people farming right away, too, because I've had this problem before in which my people just starve to death. I would not be a very good ruler of a country, but, you know, not everybody needs food. I already went over that philosophical view last time of people not really needing food, people just wanting to stay alive. Uh, where's the f- How do I lose this zone again? Growing zone. There we go. 
I got a growing zone for you. No, no, don't make that joke. That is inappropriate. Look at all this farmland I got, too. Ah. What a hopeful new beginning for these little people. They need to... Oh, that's why they're not making that out. I'm dumb. Sorry about that. Is that... No. Orders. Shit. What have I done? No. Cancel. Ah. Delete zone. Mmm. Fucking start mining. Cut this hole in the wall. We got Grim over here just planting a farm. Which is good. We need food. Grim, you're a marine with a green heart and a green thumb. I got <coughs> over here just gathering more resources. It's very helpful, but I would rather you start digging up this damn wall. Where did... Okay. They're all in their beds. All comfy and warm in their beds. Delighted by the sound of this geothermal generator shooting plumes of very loud gas out next to them. That would get me to sleep, honestly. Especially if it was like a poisonous gas that killed me, then I'd sleep for a really long time. Like, I don't know, eight hours? That's what dead people do, right? They're just sleeping? I hope so. Aw oh, man, I just made myself sad. Because there are kids that- oh, what's this? You can set each colonist's work settings in the overview at the bottom right screen. They will always do the highest priority work def name that they can find. I don't know what that means. I kind of do, but still. Okay. Puck the surgeon. Sorry, it's Puck the surgeon is also a warden by default. They set that as a default thing now rather than just, you know, letting your uh, prisoners starve because you didn't realize that. Oh, there are factions now. There are new factions. So you got Outlander Towns, Tribes, and Pirate Bands. Yar! And all of these people seem to hate me already. That's fantastic. Oh, wait, the Outlander Towns don't. I'm gonna die really quickly. I have a, I have a gigantic feeling about this. If they would dig out that damn rock wall, I would... Oh. A group of... People from Hugs Forest. Hugs is. Ah, oh, what a wonderful sounding colony. Hugs is Forest. Where are they? Jump to the location. Aw, oh, Squirrel Beard and Big Red. That's an. Uh, okay, so you got, um, a guy with an adorable chippy name who's holding a gun. Uh, you got Beard from ZZ Top. And you have Big Red, who just sounds like a beer brand. Is that a beer brand? Probably. God, dig out the wall. I told you to do... That's it. I'm gonna make you do this if you're not gonna do this yourself. Manual priorities? Off. Mining? All of you. I order you to fucking do that shit right now. I want geothermal power, damn it. Get in there, Margarita. You start digging. Ha ha ha, yes. Tick, 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 tick. They're visiting the colony. They're walking around. Can I interact with them at all? Military? Don't arrest them. That's not cool. I'm not going to do that. They just seem to be walking around, enjoying the place. I'm glad you like my little, um, hole in the ground. Please don't steal things. Ah, I'm glad you guys had a nice stay. Bye. Come back anytime. Your visit was appreciated. Ah, oh, man. I'm so happy right now. And Margarita is done digging up the wall. Now... I'm going to build the geothermal generator, if I can find where the heck heck it is. Geothermal generator. Um, I guess I haven't dug out the right area for it. Alright. You guys, get back to digging. Do you have your colonists to... Oh, yes! That's right, I forgot to equip weapons in the beginning. Where was the landing site again? Um... do 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 I don't remember where we landed. Um, that's probably not good. I know there are weapons scattered up there. There's the Lee Enfield and two pistols. Um, who's my best shooter? Puck, the surgeon. Think they'd be pretty handy with a gun since they're pretty handy with, you know, surgery. Shooting people and saving people's lives. Very similar things, actually. Uh, so I have Margarita who has a kick-ass mohawk, by the way, is going to be my main rifle woman. Rifle woman. I guess it's still rifleman. It's a, it's a gender-neutral term. And I can't find the damn rifle again. Where was it? There it is. Cool. Equip Lee Enfield. Uh-oh. 
A local squirrel has gone mad and will attack anyone it sees. Fucking squirrels trying to catch me right and dirty. Not cool, man. Oh no! Margarita, no! Don't fight the squirrel, you can't take that kind of action. Now you have a gun which you're not gonna use against the squirrel. You're just gonna kick the shit out of it. Cause you're a man, an inventor from Hugs' Forest is passing by. She is named Sachiko Holland. <coughs> I'm dying. Holy crap. That, that she sound made a giant lump appear in my throat. So, build a room. I have no rooms enclosed. I do. There's one right here. Oh, I guess it's not enclosed. Um, alright. I'm gonna start building little, little abodes for each one of my people, because sleeping in the same room with other people sucks sometimes. It's like, you hear them snoring and they fart in their sleep. That's me, mainly. I'm sorry. Sorry, every one of my former roommates. Oh, no. I can't... Can I... Can I build the wall? Is... Is that not cool that I... What? I just... Um... I can't... What? Alright, well, we'll build somewhere else then. Um... I'm gonna build them there. It's gonna be like a little town. It's gonna be a little township they're gonna have. I just can't build down here for some reason, which is really weird. Oh yeah, Margarita's fully healed after killing that squirrel. You are a hero to America and England and all the other great countries of the world, like, um... Papua New Guinea. That's a pretty great place, isn't it? I think so, maybe. Uh, I think they dug out enough room for that generator, finally. Fantastic. Fantastic. Geothermal generator, which they still won't build. Guys. Too close to map edge. Are you... What? What? I can't use that geothermal generator? Too close to map edge? What does that even mean? Is there any way I can turn it around so... Well, damn. Dimmy damn. Alright. Well, I guess we're stuck using fucking solar power again. Whatever. Okay, solar, solar, solar. Just build some frick fracking solar panels, I guess. Gonna build little houses. It's all gonna have to be powered on solar panel powers, cause... Dang it! That kicks my good mood right in the grundle taint. That's so annoying. Okay, well... I guess I could feed a geothermal generator over there eventually. Solar power I'll have to do for now. <sighs> what a darn bummer. Okay, let's get back to building their little houses though. It's gonna be like like townhouses. They're gonna they're gonna find like a nice um like a nice realtor and they're gonna show them around the townhouses and be like, Oh, this place is pretty nice, but it's like fucking two hundred thousand dollars mortgage. I don't know anything about buying houses, let's be honest here. And this one's gonna live way far away from the other ones, cause, um, this is gonna be Margarita's house, cause Margarita's snooty. Um, I mean, she's... She means well, but she can be a bit of a snoot boot sometimes. And, you know, nobody wants to live around that. So I'm gonna give them their own little beds and their own little houses once I actually have walls built around them. Uh, bed, bed. And, uh... Oh, cool. I have power now, so I'm going to build electric conduits. It's going to lead back to their houses. Yeah. Listen to that twangy-ish... No, it's not really twangy. It's a little bit western music. It reminds me of the show Firefly. That's a brilliant show, by the way, if you haven't seen it. It's, uh, it's um, space cowboys. It's cowboys in space. It's exactly what it is. And that... Cow that, uh... That sounds kind of weird right off the bat, but really, it's fucking awesome. And Nathan Fillion's really good. And it has Alan Tudyk, who's one of my favorite comedians. I want to be him when I grow up. Not Alan Tudyk. I want to be the character Wash when I grow up. Just a spaceship captain who cracks funny jokes and likes dinosaurs. Yeah. Live in the dream. Okay, I'm going to put sandbags in front of my solar panels. Because... I don't want my solar panels to get destroyed whenever a radar attacks, but I want to have turrets in front of it, so... Um, sandbags. 
Where are thou? There they are. Woo! It's gonna have a nice defensive perimeter right off the bat. Yeah, you get to work, Grim. God, they're a little bunch of happy, buzzy, working bees. Just doing a great job. I'm so proud of them all. But that's that's crappy that I can't build over here. I don't see why. But I guess it's like, I don't know, to prevent edge camping, I guess? To keep me from taking advantage of the edge as a strategic point, which I guess makes sense, but still. It's kind of a ween. Hey, 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 wait a second. You guys have your own houses now. Get out of these beds. Come on, Puck and Margarita. Oh, everyone knows that you don't want to stay on this rock for long, but Margarita, as the smart, kind of snooty lady she is, is suggesting that you give the colony a name anyway. What should it be called? Uh, let's call it, um... Edgeville. That's not English. Edgeville, there we go. Okay. The colony is now known as Edgeville. Ah oh, man, this place is a thriving metropolis already. Alright, next I want to give them little floors too. Oh no! Oh no! A group of raiders from the Grasshopper Men, that sounds like some kind of really weird band, have arrived nearby. They will prepare for a while, then attack. Prepare a defense or attack them preemptively. That's not how you pronounce that word. I do not care. Oh, I've got Raph. Maybe he's in the Royal Air Force because his name is Raph. He has... he's a... he's a brawler and he's from the Grasshopper Men. I wonder what kind of music they play. And my people are already getting on point building their turrets. Ah, man. What productive members of society they are. Got the two turrets. They'll tear him apart once he comes over here. I don't even need to send my guys out to fight. They'll just kick their asses with the turrets. Yeah. I might want to build batteries, too, for, uh, the solar power- solar panels? Um, cause if that guy attacks at night and I don't happen to have any power left, then, well, I have one person to fight him off, which probably would be easy, but I don't want to take the risk. So I'm gonna set people over here to do that. I'm gonna change back to, uh, automatic priorities, cause they're still set to full mining. I have one idle colonist. Idle colonist? That's what I thought. See, it's nighttime, and, um, there's no power, because it's been raining all day. So, um, Margarita, I'm gonna need to wake you up. I'm sorry about that. Oh, you, okay, Puck took your house, and is currently sleeping outside, because it's raining indoors. That's fine. I guess Puck is into that kind of stuff. That's really loud. I'm sorry. All right, Margarita, get up. Um, Raph is on his way to cause some riff raff. <laughs> oh, oh man, I'm a terrible human being. Slowly he approaches, as war comes. Pew! Pew! Come on, Margarita! My grandma shoots better than you, and my grandma is an elderly British lady. So, you know, she might not have ever had a little gun, but she might shoot pretty well. One of my turrets is online! Yes! The daylight has saved me. Ooh! Raph happens to be knocked unconscious. An enemy has been inca incapacitated. You can capture them. Fantastic. I am going to build a Betty Buy right here. Um, this is going to be my slave quarters, I guess. Wow, slave quarters. Okay. Uh, I'm going to build... No, wait, they all have beds now. So, Pug can move... No, not Pug. Uh... I guess Grim can move into this big house over here that's full of rocks. I would want to move into a big house full of rocks. Place would rock. I'm sorry. Dang it. Get over there. Capture Brawler, Raph. And yes, now I can kidnap this guy. Maybe hold him for ransom against his tribe. Or maybe... Recruit him for my own. That would be amazing. I'd have four people in my town now. Yes! Okay. Well, I think that does it for this episode. I've gotten some great things done in the town of Edgeville. Is it Ville? Yeah, it's Ville. Edgeville. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.